time, the South Korean is the favorite to win gold. Peter Alexander has her story. Good morning to you, Peter. Meredith, good morning to you from a cool Whistler. You probably don't know much about Kim Yuna, at least not yet, but by the end of these games, she could easily be the darling of international figure skating. The Korean athlete is so popular in her home country that when she arrived in Vancouver late last week, she caused such a stir of paparazzi attention that her coach compared the experience to traveling with Princess Diana. There may have been multiple 007s. Bond, James Bond. But at these games... There's only one Bond girl. Just 19 years old, South Korea's Kim Yuna is queen of the ice. Best known for her signature short program set to the iconic James Bond theme song. And of course, the audience loves it, so it's a very special program for me. Kim first started dreaming of the Olympics when she was just seven, watching American figure skater Michelle Kwan at the 1998 Nagano Winter Games. That's the hardest one in the program, and she does it beautifully. I almost memorize her long program because I watched over and over. After a coach recognized Kim's unique talent, her mother became nearly obsessed with her young daughter's career, restructuring the family's budget to keep her on the ice, even forgetting her husband's birthday when it conflicted with a competition. Kim spends nearly 20 hours a week in the rink, going through a pair of skates each month. I couldn't go to school or couldn't meet my friends. It's a hard life. Yeah. While it came at a cost, Kim's dedication has propelled her to the top of her sport. She's the reigning world champion and the most heavily favored Olympic skater since Peggy Fleming won gold more than 40 years ago. Kim's international success has earned her legions of fans at home and more than $2 million in annual endorsements, with Forbes Korea magazine recently naming Kim the most powerful celebrity in all of South Korea. Don't mess you that bad. <laughs> They're cheering me always, so I can feel the energy. The whole country behind you. Yeah. Her elegant athletic style caught the attention of Canadian Brian Orser, a two-time Olympic silver medalist who in 1988 narrowly lost to American Brian Boitano in the epic Battle of the Bryans. At 48, Orser is hoping to finally claim gold as Kim's coach. It'll mean a lot for me to see her win. But as much as Kim feels pressure to succeed, this karaoke-loving Korean idol is a lot like any other teenager. What music do you have on your iPod? I love Beyonce or... Lady Gaga. Lady uh, Gaga? Yeah. Probably not paparazzi. Is it? Yeah. You like <laughs> that one? Yeah, I like that one. After escaping the crush of cameras, Kim Yuna invited you us out onto the ice. Okay. You go first, I'll follow. Don't worry, it'll be just fine. Okay, slow down. <laughs> Her specialty is the triple Lutz. Mine, it turns out, the triple klutz. <laughs> What is it that you love so much about skating? Part of the art, part of the sports. Part art, part sports. Yeah. A sport that has turned this leading lady into a Korean national treasure. How do we say good luck in Korean? Himneseyo. Himneseyo. Yo. Himneseyo. Yo. We'll know what to say when you take the ice in Vancouver. Thank you. Kim Yuna is so popular at home that she simply cannot travel down a street without security guards at her side. And apparently, Meredith, the same holds true in Vancouver. She's not staying in the athlete's village. Instead, she has chosen to stay in a heavily guarded private hotel during these games in a gold Thursday night. And this young woman's legend, her celebrity, will only grow.